evening everyone this is Banya's sunflower journal and it is so lovely it's really original I think that's that's the thing that I love about it and it's just beautiful so I'm going to show you the kit first and then show you how to put this together um, because it is so unique it's not like anything else that I've seen out there now the kit itself comes with the most amazing instructions make sure you're in frame okay right so you've got three sheets of very very clear instructions and that's what I love about Banya she tries to give you the best way of doing it okay and I find following her instructions and the way that she does it works it really works quickly it works well and you will have a really really excellent result at the end of it so we're going to start with the top pages because if you notice we've got like two sections here you've got a little notebook at the back here and then you've got this section on the top and each page is individually made and they are just so so lovely so let me show you the pages first that go on the top and they are so pretty now Banya has done this sort of edging like it's been burnt um, on other kits so you will probably recognize it and it's just such a lovely edging um, now the best color to actually um, use as ink around the edges is the walnut stain now I can't access my walnut stain at the moment so I just use the vintage photo and that worked just as well um, reason being is my house is upside down at the moment it really is so we've got the, the kitchen sorted and the fridge freezer in you know after all that harassment and the new freezer and we've got that bit organised um, but I had the grandkids like three days last week and then I had the other grandson and it's just been you know with my sugar levels have been all over the place I've been absolutely exhausted trying to balance the insulin with the diabetes and it makes you feel so unwell you know it's just one of those things that happens unfortunately that the heat causes your diabetes to go off kilter and I'm sure there are loads about you out there nodding and saying yeah been there don't like it it's been a really really hard work week anyway um here this is the cover of the little notebook at the back that I showed you here okay this is the cover and I will show you how to put this together really quickly and easily and this is the backing page for this cover this is the only backing you have to do through the whole kit okay that onto that then this is all the really really pretty ephemera it's absolutely lovely isn't it absolutely gorgeous really beautiful you know you've got pockets you've got your journaling cards you've got your tags now this piece here is the piece you need to make sure all the holes line up in your journal more beautiful pockets i love these huge huge tickets i think they're so nice these you can use as belly bands or as tuck spots you know it's really up to you how you go on there and this bit here is the bit for the front cover okay so you do need this bit here okay so that's the ephemera of it I'm trying to keep these in order so I know which way I'm going <laughs> right now these are the pages for the actual little booklet notebook at the end okay and they're lovely and it's an accordion style which I love doing an accordion style it gives such a lovely finish and it's just so much fun it really is beautiful pages aren't they absolutely gorgeous I love this sunflower underneath here right so that's the kit now you're wondering why I've got these underneath here and the reason is is that Banya gives out freebies a lot okay so I'm going to link the group down below that if you've not you're not in her group please come and join the group because um, she gives the most beautiful freebies away now they're not in the files like like a lot of groups 
you would have to go into media and scroll down and do it that way but they are so beautiful and I've, if I showed you some over the last few months I mean there's loads I mean aren't these absolutely beautiful I just love the birds I really do and I just thought well if you could see some of the freebies I'll ban you she put so much hard work into these oh, it would be so lovely to share this is one of the most recent I absolutely adore this one gorgeous isn't it absolutely beautiful yeah of course she's put them all upside down like a clown, dark clown there we go aren't they lovely these birds absolutely beautiful um, again beautiful beautiful place you know the blossoms and everything and that's just a small part you know I mean she does the most gorgeous freebies and I thought if I could just show you some of the freebies it might encourage you to come into group and try and grab some because they are really really adorable right let me come back to the journal okay now I've tied a bit of lace on here which I always do with my ring ring bound thingies and I have actually put um eyelets on every page because I knew I'd be showing this and it was going to get a lot of uh you know strain on 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 here you know going back and forward so i have actually put eyelets on everywhere you do not have to put eyelets on everywhere i think it works out at about was it 39 eyelets you need um and more if you decide to put them on the tags so it's it's, it's it, you, you need to think about it you probably find on this part of it if you did the front ones that would support the back ones and obviously you would need them on the notebook. So this is my first page. Now, when you're gluing these together, it is entirely up to you whether you want to just do, do the pages plain like this or whether you want to make them into tuck spots. Now, I've done four of these little journaling cards and the four images are from Raw Pixel, which I'll link below. When you go into Raw P Pixel, make sure you go for public domain because the licenses are there and you're not going to get in trouble with anybody and you know the images are, uh, you know you can use this band is really pretty isn't it now I've, I've used the elements right the way through this on both sides it is really up to you how you, how you decide you want to use your elements you might want to use the, all the ephemera in just the notebook and keep this bit as it is you know it's up to you how you do it now I've also added some little envelopes. Now these four envelopes are through here. There's just two designs. They were part of a challenge by our Paulette. <clears throat> it was a sunflower challenge. Um, but Paulette at the moment hasn't got her Zibit store. Uh, Zibit, uh, nobody knows why. They just closed it. Um, <coughs> I went and I was trying and trying, I was like, where on earth has this gone? Because I was looking for something. Nothing. I mean, obviously on Paulette's site, nothing. It completely disappeared. And I thought, oh, maybe it'll jump back. And then a couple of days later, Paulette actually put a message in group to say that Zibit is no more, which is such a shame. So Paulette is actually moving at the moment. And her actual move date is the 6th of August. So she's not going to be able to set up a new store until she gets to her new home, unpacks and gets her head together. So obviously there's no Paulette stall at the moment, store at the moment. Um, now the other way of doing this, obviously if you go to the covers, you can make, you know, you could make a little envelope out of the, out of the, the uh, pages. You can cut these out and make little envelopes. Um, it was just me, I was just... <laughs> not up to much at the time and I happen to have these on the PC now my PC is right next to me now so on my kitchen table I now have my PC and the tower and my printer <laughs> so it's not as much room as they used to be um, but a funny thing is um, it's so convenient having it all in the same place <laughs> I've not had that before um, I used to craft in the bedroom and it was great because you know the PC was like in front of me and I used to pull the drawer at the uh, table bit out and I used to craft in there um, but it wasn't that big but I have got a new desk it's in the box 
and hopefully once I get my room sorted out, I'll be able to set up in there and, you know, things will be a bit easier. But to say these little envelopes are absolutely gorgeous and so cute, but you could make your own. Beautiful pages, aren't they? And I've done a side one here. There's another one from Zibit, uh, from um, Raw Pixel. Oops, I'm on the slant, aren't I? Always the way, isn't it? When you try and tuck something in and you're on the slot, you can never get it in quite right. I just love these images. I really do. They're absolutely lovely. Now, this is a little pocket, and I haven't actually put anything in here yet, but I will. You know, that's um, one of those. I will get to it. <laughs> I think we all do that, don't we? There's another lovely, lovely image. As I say, it's easy to find these for more pics. I mean, they're free. Um which is great I love that image as well I mean these images are just so lovely and the way that, that, that it's been done I love the way that each page is different and it all layers on top in a different way and it get, you know like you found an old book that somebody's tried to throw in the fire or something I mean that one's from Zibit too gorgeous absolutely lovely really pretty you see, the, the, the envelope's just married up with this kit so easily. Um, that's why I did it. And then here, I've used one of the images and put the other one in and made that into a pocket. And the last one in this little bit, this is one of Banyas that's actually in the kit. Journaling is like whispering to oneself and listening at the same time. But it's so true, isn't it? You're telling yourself a story while you're writing it out. So that's that bit. Then this bit, you've got a notebook. Lovely, lovely notebook. Now, I actually um, reinforced this little bit because I decided to put the pages in twice. So there's seven pages and I, I printed them off twice. So there's actually 14 pages in this. It is entirely up to you how many pages you want and which ones you want to put in. Obviously, everything I do, I do on the 160 GSM card because it shows up better on camera and it shows the images much better. Um, so that's how I did mine. And I thought, I'm just going to reinforce this just to give it a little bit of extra, you know, support when I'm doing this, pulling it in and out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it out of here. Now, these ring clips are uh, two inch ones, these ones. But obviously you choose the size you want to choose um, if I hadn't have put in eyelets on every page I could use the smaller ones that I had but um, and they were lovely because they were a coppery color and they went really well with this but I had a two more two pages too many you know but it also meant by using the bigger rings I could fit a lot more stuff in so I as you see, I've put some lace down the front. This is already on there, that my notebook and everything is already on the cover. And here you will see how you paste this into here. This is one of the fussy cuts. And you paste this onto the cover and the, other, the last page onto the back cover. And I've used this as a belly band on here. Now I'm just wondering whether that button's going to catch or it'll come out okay. It came out good. Well done. I've kept it really simple, you know, just by sewing round them all. Obviously, I backed them all onto card. Sewing round them all, it just makes such a difference to the card. They just look so totally different from, from the printed image, don't they? It's one of those lovely big tickets. Now, that's another pocket that, again, I'm going to look for something to put in. It was a little bit bigger than the um, tickets. Let's see. Okay, and it fits perfectly, but it was like, I'm not sure what I'm going to stick in there yet because I have one, one left over because, you know, of sharing them around. But I think that is so pretty. So I just need to find something to put in there later on but to finish it completely. You see, now this, if you actually back that, you could use that in there, in the other one. Where is it? Here. <laughs> um, I just love that image. And this... Another one of the little envelopes. They just finished it off, having the envelopes. And I've used the tiny little tickets on these as well. 
it was just such a pleasure to sit and do this yesterday. I've had just such a week of it, you know, with, with not being well with the diabetes and with so much going on and having the kids here all the time and trying to sort my kitchen out. I had to move everything to get the fridge freezer and everything in. You know, it's nothing like filling your fridge freezer up, you know, your freezer up and then, you, you know, it goes pop and you've got to try and fit it all into it somewhere else. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely lovely. That's so lovely in yellow, that one. So I've got all my buttons out. So I've just kept it really simple, just buttons and lace. But it just works with this particular one. Really pretty, aren't they? And of course, there's so many sunflower kits out there at the moment. But it is hard for the lasses to be unique. And that's what's so lovely about this with Banya. It is so unique. And there's another little wee pocket there that I will find something for later as well. I didn't want to spend too much time going around trying to find it you know, extra ephemera that's not part of the kit. Um, I just thought, I'm just going to keep it as simple as I can so that you can find the images. I mean, obviously you can't get the envelopes because of Paulette, but a lot of you actually did the challenge, so you'll be able to find these envelopes really, really e easily. And it just works out so lovely. And it feels so lovely. That's the other thing about it. It feels so nice in the hand. I think that is something. When you journal... You want to be able to, you know, it needs to be tactile. It needs to feel nice, doesn't it? And this does. It, it's a lovely size. It feels so good. And as I say, it's not bulked it out. You know, I've put all that ephemera in there and all the buttons and everything. And I've, done, I've printed the, the pages twice. And it works. It really works beautifully well. So let me just tuck this back in here. And then I will show you how I did them. Now, and how I came across Darbanya was, um, you know, when you go on Etsy, sometimes there's suggestions, isn't there, of um, different kits and things like that, you know, from people you don't know. And one of Banya's kits came up, can't, really, couldn't even tell you what it was now. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. And it came up and I um, remember clicking on it and I thought, oh, I do like these images. And I think it was a winter one I bought. <coughs> I'm sure it was. And um, I then, you know, by reading what was on, on Etsy, I found out the Banya had, had obviously a Facebook group. So I went over and joined the Facebook group. Um, so it's not always from uh, what you see in the groups actually on Facebook and how you find people. You know, it can just be you happen to see something, you know, there on your Etsy. And I'm so glad I did because her images are so lovely. Um, you know, there is another group out there. Um, and I love the work that they do. And it's kind of like similar to them because I used to pick their stuff up um, going back, you know, uh, probably about two years ago. And Because I, I love to, to construct things, you know, doing these construction type ones. You know, and the folios, absolutely love doing folios, as you know. And that's what I love about these. And they are such a good price as well, Banya. She doesn't charge an arm and a leg. That's something else that's really important. So anyway, that's that. Now let me show you how you put these together. Right, now the cover of the book. Okay, now, the easiest way to do the cover of the book is cut your two ends off. Okay, you know, however you cut your end off, whether you use scissors or whether you use a paper cutter or whatever. Right, and then use a pair of scissors and just trim these because there are lines here, but they don't go to the top of the page. And if you're going to be scoring down, if you've got to have that extra bit there, it's not always easy to think, Well, you know, am I just here or am I just here? You know, on your scoreboard to get it there. So by cutting that down and not having all this extra on here, you can then manoeuvre this really easily on your scoreboard. So you've got five little black dots there that you can see, and those five are where you're gonna score and fold, okay? So do your score lines first, then you're going to fold it in half, do this one first. Just like you're doing a page for a signature. Just fold it straight in half, okay? 
Then this one here, you're going to fold going back. And it's tiny here. It's about a quarter of a centimetre, really tiny. Folds this, folds back on there. And obviously the same on the back. So you've got the same design on the front and the back. Okay. And once you get to that stage, it's so easy just to run across straight across there. Just cut that down to size. It's so easy. And then on this little bit here, this is where you are going to put your holes. Okay. And this fits exactly to size. So you would put this on, get your pencil, mark your holes in, and then punch your holes. Okay. That is how easy it is to do the cover. It looks really weird because of the fact that you've got this bit sticking out here. But obviously that's the bit that you're going to be sticking in your folder. But that's how easy it is to do, okay? Now these two bits in here, just before you punch it, glue that up so that comes together like that, okay? And by gluing that up like this, it just makes it so much easier to put your little holes in and then you can see if I hold this like this can you see that you've now got where your journal's going to go your pages are going to go in there okay so just hang on to that bit and you'll, you'll realize where you're going so that's that bit of that bit now the next thing are your pages I'm going to just shift this lot over a minute and get my craft mat in because it will be easier against the black to see this. That's it. Okay, so each page, when you cut your pages out, tuck this one in and this one will be a mountain fold. Once you have joined them all together, that's going to be glued together so you know that's going to be a mountain fold because that's your page that is your complete page so that will be glued together if you decide you want to do a top top tuck on that as well that is really up to you okay so do your mountain and you have a little flappy bit here okay <coughs> just have a bit of a dry throat for some reason tonight how easy are these to put together? You just glue this bit. Like this. Like this one. And stick in one there. And this is how quick and easy it is to put these together. It is amazing. And obviously that one will go in the opposite direction. So that's two pages already done. This is what I love about accordions. You know, they go together so quick and easy. It's just doing, you know, the work beforehand. A little bit of scoring and you're there. Okay, see? That's how quick and easy it is to put these together. Right, so that's three pages before you even blink. Okay? Now, you would now glue the middle pages don't glue this one and don't glue the last one now the last one you cut the flap off okay it makes it sit easier in your journal okay so you would take your journal bear in mind this is this is quite large because i've left the other bit on <laughs> and you will now you won't be able to see very well where that score line is right but what you're going to do is that score line and that fold there, they come together, okay? And you get that on that score line and this bit is stuck down. So you would put that and you will glue that on there like that and that holds the front. And then the back, let me just push all these pages over a minute. And the back you do exactly the same and you get it on that score line and that will be glued down to there 
it is a lot easier if you take the flap off to glue that down if you want to make it into a pocket by all means leave the flap on because it'll make a lovely pocket it really will it makes a fabulous pocket on the back but that's how quick and easy it is to put this together and you don't have to glue all this bit in you know all these bits of pages the back and the front hold it together you don't need to be gluing all this in so that it, you know it, it fits in properly you don't need that and that is your notebook so that's how quick and easy it is to get this but as I say do them separately don't try and do them together print these pages out first cut them out now obviously when you're cutting them out which I didn't sort of say before which I should have done the way to cut these out right again you will have on your page the little lines you know the lines for um, cutting on let me see if I can find them in the I'm hoping you can see this on camera here's your little lines here and here so score that line obviously do what I did before cut the top and the bottom off so it's easier to to really marry those lines up properly okay then fold on that score line that you've just done then fold them in half once you've got them in half you then do your fussy cutting round okay now like anything no matter how well you fold these you're always going to have your little bits of white I've deliberately left them on you have your little bits of white showing okay and that's where you just bring your distress ink in and you can't see you can't see on any of these and I say I use vintage photo not the walnut stain and you really cannot see where the white bits are can you you know you wouldn't think there were white bits in there they're completely gone but by f holding them together like that fussy cutting around with the two together it makes it so much easier it really really does obviously don't go gluing them and then cutting them because you do that you're not going to have any pockets <laughs> and obviously if you're going to want a side one you just glue here and here and if you want top one you just glue down here and you decide which ones now that one to me is a lovely cover one so you would just glue that one together I just think they're absolutely fab and then once you've got all your pages done again you take your lovely um, guide and you pop it on mark out your little holes and punch them as easy as that you've not got to do any measuring isn't that amazing <laughs> You just plonk this on, go, oh yeah, right, a bit of pencil, in there, punch, 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 finished. And then once you got to that stage of punching these out, you can decide how you want to make your page. So thank you so much for being here. I, I absolutely love doing this. Um, I'd already got it cut out and it was already sort of at the stage where I could start gluing and putting it together yesterday. Um... But yesterday was the first time I've actually been able to sit and craft. You know, when you've had a week away from crafting, it's really hard for your brain to get back into where you were, isn't it? It's like if you're doing a journal and you go and start another journal, to try and go back to the journal you were doing, it's quite difficult because, you you know, you've lost that, that flow, you know, on how you were doing it. Um, but I say these are just so, so lovely. Um... It's the sort of thing you'd want to keep by your bed as your little journal or something, you know, or even on a coffee table or something. You know, it's not one of those ones you, you'd want to hide, is it? It's just really, really lovely. So, guys, um, I'm going to go and film Zern's. Zern has got um, a challenge coming up next month. I'm going to do a sneak peek. Shh, don't tell her. That's the keyboard coming all over the place. Shh. I haven't seen this, okay? This is the challenge for next month. It's a stuff pocket and it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. But don't tell Zern I showed you. And there's even a little notebook right in the top in here. You can see there's a little journal notebook in there. And there's another little tiny little notebook in here as well. They're absolutely gorgeous. So that's for next month. <laughs> Shh, 
you haven't seen it, okay? I won't tell Zoom. Shh. <laughs> Just have an amazing day, everyone. We're expecting rain at some time. We're supposed to have been getting rain this afternoon, thunderstorms. No, the sun came out in all its glory and it was absolutely roasting again. Poor London. Um, oh, my, have they been going through it. Underground has been flooded and goodness knows what else. It's just been absolutely, you know, awful down there. You know, they've absolutely gone through it. But nothing up here yet, you know. Um, the kids are still running around the garden, still having fun in the sun. And, you know, that's not arrived yet. But it is so close. It really is. It's, it's that close you need a fan on at night, you know. It's worse than going through the menopause. <laughs> Anyway, guys, do go over to Vanya's uh, gorgeous little group um, and grab those freebies. As I say, she she does, she tries to do one at least a week. And you, quite often you'll get something like this and you, you'll maybe get two sheets of, of tags. And when she does pages, she generally does two pages. And, you know, the beautiful things you can make with these, even if you keep them, for later on, you know, say you're suddenly doing a journal with birds in. How gorgeous is that? That you could have that. And of course you could fussy cut these birds out. You know, you can do tags with these. If you print them a bit small, you can do, make tags with these. And so many beautiful, beautiful things. So let me let you go. Have an amazing time. And it's about 11 o'clock at night in now. So I'm going to head off to bed. Love and blessings, everyone. Ta-da.